Konnichiwa. This is the Shogun Steen. Just doing some light reading here. Some casual reading. Gerrymandering. It's when they uh, make a uh, congressional district so uh, only one party stays in uh, power. And then uh, what happens is we get candidates that try to... Uh, well, if it's a gerrymandered uh, Democrat district, then we get candidates that try to sort of out-liberal each other. You end up with the most liberal candidate. And if it's gerrymandered Republican or conservative, they try to out-conservative each other. And you have uh, non-competitive uh, general elections. Certainly the primaries are um, competitive as, uh, again, if it's a Democrat uh, gerrymandered district you get uh, candidates trying to be the, the most Democrat, the most uh, progressive, the most uh, social justice. And then on the Republican gerrymandered uh, district, you get the, you know, the most uh, Tea Party, the most uh, conservative. You know, 92% conservative is not conservative enough. You know, I'm 95%. You end up getting uh, very extreme candidates on both sides that are very uh, partisan, very ideological. And they get to Washington and they're either uber liberal or uh, lift Republican. And uh, they make no compromises. And if you know from uh, your Federalist number 10, James Madison hoped for a big republic where there'd be factions and that there would be uh, pluralism where uh, things would get done because both sides would have to compromise. Not knowing that we'd end up with gerrymandered uh, districts where you end up people that are so ideological that uh, they don't compromise. So that's one of the problems with gerrymandering. And then very often in these states that have a lot of gerrymandering, again, you have non-competitive general elections. It's all settled by the primary. And again, it, you know, some of these districts stay in the same party's hands you know, for, for years and years and years. So I believe the story with this game is that the designers, if I remember correctly from the, the Kickstarter, they were either high school students or college students who had studied gerrymandering in their uh, government class, and they made a board game, Map Maker, the gerrymandering game. And uh, certainly from the, the comments that I saw when I backed this Kickstarter, um, all these... Uh, you know, uh, government teachers were couldn't wait to get this to the, to the classroom. I don't know why. Government teacher, board gamer, what sort of combination is, is that? So we're going to look at gerrymandering the game. And uh, those of you who are interested in the gerrymandering issue, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the uh, great actor and the governator, um, is quite vocal about gerrymandering. He has some very good stuff that you can look at. And you can look at some of the uh, issues involved with gerrymandering, but certainly it is one of the reasons that we have, and again, here's another uh, AP government term, we have this gridlock in Congress because instead of uh, pluralism where we have factions that have to compromise, you have hyper-pluralism where it's so ideog ideological and there are so many groups that no one is compromising. So Map Maker, the gerrymandering game, is a new game about gerrymandering. It's one to four players, 30 to 45 minutes, ages eight and up. So we're going to take a look at what's in the box. My Kickstarter arrived today, just in time before uh, we start reviewing for the AP exam. Gerrymandering is not a game. We have a little note in here. And uh, a little thank you from, the, I guess, the family members. Okay, so we have that. And what else do we have here? We have our gerrymandering manual. And uh, here's the the rules. I gotta be honest with you, I don't even remember how this this played. I was just excited to get a game about gerrymandering that I could bring into the to the classroom. So I'll be having to go over the rules. Some rules, some FAQs, some strategy tips, solo variant, and then a competitive, so an easy solo variant and a competitive uh Variant for solo, and then here's some stuff about gerrymandering. Oh, here we go. Here are some of the, the cases Gill versus Whitford. Um, where's our Baker versus Carr? Where's Baker versus Carr? That's the biggie. Hmm. Some more. And so, here you can play a game and review for your AP government exam. But I tell you, the government teacher here. 
Um, I'm looking forward to the Baker v. Carr. That's the, the biggie case. But anyway, here's uh, some background reading about gerrymandering. And let's see what's in the box. We got our board. We got some, some uh, things to punch. We have baggies. And uh, we have uh, something. I guess we're going to be making our district. I imagine this is going to be something to, to make our district. And oh, look at these meeples. We got, uh, we got elephants and we got donkeys, Republicans and Democrats. And uh, I don't know who these, these other animals and leafs are, but uh, certainly we got our Republicans and Democrats. Let's take a look at the, the back of the box here. Gerrymandering is not a game except when it is. So we got a regional map. Tokens, voter tokens, district markers, baggies. All right, and here are the people who designed it. They're from Texas. Go Games. So, looking forward to, to playing this and uh, getting it uh, not only to the, to the table, but maybe to uh, some tutoring. See who wants to play gerrymandering the, the game. So that's an unboxing of the, the new uh, gerrymandering game, Map Maker. This is the, the Shogun's theme out.